All right, Coach. Is it on there? It's Goal of the Week. I can make sure we're recording there. Goal of the Week. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we've done this uh, due to some sickness, and then I was traveling and couldn't make our schedules work. But we're back, and so uh, we're gonna we'll talk a little bit about about the St. Martin game and a little bit about Pascal, what we can expect, and then all right, go from there. Yeah, I thought the St. Martin game was. Uh was one we needed. Uh, we knew that we really didn't know that we, it's been a while since we had a win, five weeks, and, and um, you know, we were desperate for it. And early, you know, if you were at the game, you saw that it was, um, you know, a lot of uh, pretty one-sided. They had the ball most of the, most of the first half and, and got down inside the goal line uh, twice, and we stopped them, and we were very fortunate to have done that. Uh, we were having a lot of trouble with the run, and uh, but we had a uh, uh, Augie Tremble knocked the ball out of the, uh, uh, the ball carrier's hand as he went into the goal line one time, uh, and then uh, and then the second time we had uh, Demarion Fillmore uh, stop the quarterback uh, right there around the goal line with, with 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 time expiring in the first half. So very easily could have been down 21 to seven uh, at that time. And then the second half our offense got going. Uh, he took the first drive down, and scored with it, uh, and uh, and then our defense had a. Uh, uh, a turnover for a touchdown, and then they turned the ball over again. We scored, and, and we kind of ran away with it. We started having fun. Uh, we started playing faster once we uh, the good things started happening. And, uh, you know, the biggest message that, that I had was, you know, we need to start doing that more often, uh, even when things are not as well. Uh, you know, keep playing hard, keep trying to have fun, um, and doing what you're supposed to do. And, and, and uh, you yeah, know, but we weren't playing real physical in the first half, and we started playing a little bit more physical in the second half on defense, and that was – that was the turning point for us defensively. And then offensively, we just had a little bit better execution. We only had three drives the first half. Uh, the first drive went down and scored very easily. And then we had two three and outs where we just kind of had some lack of execution there. Uh, but then after that, we got going and it was a, it was a good game and one, one that we needed. Yeah, a lot of excitement early in the game. We got an early turnover, kind of yeah. like Ocean Springs yeah, did against yeah, us. And, yeah. and uh, But you're right, kind of a little flatter in the first half. In the second half, a uh, completely different ball game. Yeah, it was a different ball game. I think, you know, like I said, uh, you know, especially after the pick six, I mean, it's really when the when the team on the sideline got a lot of juice going on the sideline and, and kids were jumping up and down and having a good time. And, and everybody was – and our defense started playing a lot faster uh, and playing a lot more physical. And then, you know, our offense was just executing well and everybody wanted to make the play. Our, our blocking was very good in the run game in the second half. Uh, and it was in the first drive of the game as well. But uh, it was doing very well and through the ball in the back of the end zone from Del J to Duran. Uh, that was a big play. Uh, and so, and, and then, to, uh, you know, Took Norwood had, I don't know, going around 15 to 18 carries for almost 100 yards and three touchdowns. So he had a good, but that's a, you know, that's also a compliment to the offensive line. There was obviously some holes there. Uh, and, and they did a good job there. So uh, it was a good good win. All right, well, uh, let's talk about uh, Pascagoula this week a little bit. Homecoming week. Um, so, you know, the, I know two things about them. I know number, they got a big running back that's uh, supposed to be a pretty good athlete, and mm -hmm. I know their quarterback missed most of the season. So probably don't have a whole lot of film on him. I think last was last week was yeah. his first week back. So what do, what do we can expect from them? Obviously, Tan, the quarterback, is a, is a very good player, a dual-sport athlete, he plays uh, – Baseball and football there for them, and, and he's very dynamic. Has a good arm, uh, and, and 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 is very very quick. And uh, so he's he's very elusive, and, and one that we'll have to keep an eye on. Thirty three, their running back has been having some injury problems lately, but he is a big tall kid. Um, and then they, but they bring in another one, Levin, who is is also a, a big bruiser. Who hits it really hard downhill. They're very effective in the run game, and they ran the ball very effectively on Ocean Springs. Had a lot of yards against Ocean Springs, just couldn't put it in the end zone. Uh, they were right there neck and neck with the Iverville. Should have won. I could have won that game, a uh, two point conversion away from making that a game late in the fourth quarter. And uh, so they've had some close ones. They've kind of been like us in a way. They've been real close at times, uh, like us with the Harrison Central game. They were like that with the Iverville game. They lost, obviously lost a close one to Harrison Central as well. Uh, early in the year in which they lost their quarterback in the first half, and that made a big deal. Had they not lost their quarterback, they may have beat Harrison Central that night. So they are, they, their record doesn't indicate how good they are. Uh, they have also a really good slot receiver, number three, uh, who does a good job, and their defense is very, very capable of stopping people. And so, and they have at times this year. So uh, we're going to have to come in ready to play. We're going to have to not let, you know, all the things of homecoming affect us. You know what I mean? There's a lot of distractions going on this week. And it's me, and I love, you know, homecoming's meant to be fun. 
and, and we want our kids to have fun and we want our school to, to show a lot of pride. But we, at the end of the day, we have to remember that we do have to play a football game Friday and we're going to have to execute and play fast and play the way we did the second half against St. Martin. Well, anything uh, we can expect to see on the offensive side of the ball different this week uh, than we've seen in the past or kind of expect to see what we saw last week? I mean, well, you can't give away see. all the secrets, right? Okay. But. <laughs> I mean, you're going to see, you know, obviously we want to try to establish a run and then at some, you know, at some point in the game, you know, you'd love like to establish that early. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, but, but yeah, I think, I think uh, a lot of the things you saw last week, you'll see again. A lot of the things you saw against Harrison Central, you'll see, um, you know, so, uh, you know, we'll see. Well, good. We'll come out and support. Um, so halftime is going to be homecoming. Uh, so, you, so come early, get there, and uh, we, should, we should have a good crowd, have a good environment, and uh, hopefully uh, get a back-to-back -back win. I do have a question before I turn, kind of turn it over to you for my final comments. So, so obviously, you know, you talked about losing five in a row, uh, had some tough, early, tough uh, opponents in, in district. So now we have Pascagoula followed up by Hancock, and I think both those are variable win winnable games. And then the Gulfport game, kind of like last year, is going to come down to uh, it really can make an impact. I mean, do, do we – how do you keep your kids kind of focused on, you know, winning those games and, like – do we, you think we still have a shot, shot to make the playoffs, or do you think that's uh... – I mean, we only talk about the game we're about to play. I mean, right. we, I'm not trying to say – like, I know that's a typical coach talk, but we haven't, we haven't mentioned Hancock. We haven't mentioned Gulf Four. We don't even – you know, it's just – you know, this is going to – this game is going to be a lot more of a challenge than, than I think people think it's going to be. Uh, this is a very evenly matched game. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to go out there and play a good football – game this week uh, and then we'll worry about you know what's left or we'll about the playoff picture you know later down the road but you know right now it's just it's just we're focusing on beating past the group understand I gotta ask that yeah, I so, uh, so final words coach what you got you know it's a big game obviously it's homecoming a lot of excitement I, you know I think uh, the kids uh, at, at Biloxi schools are very excited they've been doing a lot of things around the school and a lot of a lot of spirit week stuff and it's been very good we have a homecoming parade tomorrow in which we'll be in uh, that start at six o'clock downtown. Love for you guys to come out and support that. And then obviously the game uh, Friday night starting at seven o'clock here. And it's, it's one week we're going to need. You know, we're going to need a lot of support. We're going to need the, the student section to be loud and proud, like you have been all year. And we appreciate that. Uh, and 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 we are if we if we come if we come ready to play, we'll win. And I feel like we will. Thank y'all.